Any breakdown or however you want to get into the delay that we've been doing this whole time. I mean, this is the one I use most on. Here, not broken You got to scoot back just a little bit. So now I'm still here up here beating up his face. I really can't get my power half. I can't get my uh, can't get my cross face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of float my uh, leg lock over to his other side of his knee, and I'm going to plant my toe. Rotate the left. Plant my toe on the other side of his knee, trapping it. All right. So he's not going to really dig anything because I'm still going to be up here, you know, ripping his face off, beating him up. But now I'm going to slide my knee, slide this spare knee to his armpit, and I'm going to turn this knee up. See how it opens his hips? Now here, I'm just going to grab him, lift him up, and fall back. Now, I'm gonna get at least a couple back points. You can even finish the same way, you know, lay flat on the mat, pinching his hip, try to fight off rider. Yeah, worst comes to worst, you get three backs, you don't get the pin. But, look what I still have right here. Who thinks, my, who thinks they know what I'm gonna do? Yeah, I'm gonna slide this half as he bellies down, and I'm just gonna come up, turn my hip down, sink it deep, chest on chest, go for the fall. Uh, this move is super effective. I mean, I've used it in high school. I used it when we were wrestling Waynesburg at Team Loop, uh, Team Winfield Tournament my senior year to get 10-0 major and my 100th win. So it's a pretty special move to me. It brings back some good memories. Here, even if I land and I'm like all the way over here, I just immediately catch that knee with my toe. Slide this up here. Sometimes we'll be like trying to build up at the same time, which just makes it so much easier. Just bring that back, slide it out. I'll even grab his pec a lot of the time, even though Ryder doesn't have much of a pec. But you know, it's a nice little handle grip, and he's gonna be turning down. I still got his arm, got his pec, then you know, just straighten this out, catch that half elbow on elbow as he's going down. And I already got on this round. A lot of you guys run your halves, so and you're like way down here. You guys got no leverage, you're able to wing down and look away. And so really focus on trying to be elbow to elbow when you're running a half. All right, let's go give it a try. On three, one, two, three.